guys, this is Rob from RV Travel Buddy, and I wanted to take the time to talk to you about boondocking and what we've discovered so far, getting our RV ready for boondocking. So, you know that we took the time to put solar in our system, solar system in. We put an inverter in the back so we could watch our television and watch movies on battery power and we have Wi-Fi Ranger so we've done a few improvements and oh we changed our batteries out to two six volt brand new bat deep cells and that's working great but even though I know better we've discovered that we've overlooked one thing is we have about a dozen cameras and we have support equipment to go with that, not to mention a Wii booster and some other things. And so what we didn't set up, which we will, is when you're boondocking, the biggest thing to consider is charging things up. Uh, we've had no trouble with lights, we've had no trouble with power whatsoever, but not having enough uh, outlets or a place or a station to charge everything up and we have a lot of things we have things for our dog uh, we have electronic collar it's a buzz collar by the way it just buzzes we have a cat that hides behind the television how about that huh pretty secret <laughs> good timing cat uh, we have uh, s several other things other than just phones that need to be charged up so what's happening I thought I'd show you is a wiring nightmare <laughs> So we have an outlet in the back that goes to an inverter we had put in to convert our 12 volt system to 110. And so we had to run a cord from that plug to another plug so we could plug in, let's see, this is our, we, uh, this is our cell phone, <laughs> cell phone, um, Wi-Fi. We have a computer back here. I don't know if you can see it. It's being charged and it's doing an upload and it's charging some things too. Uh, we have two phones that we charge back here and it's just becoming a real problem. So our solution will be is I'm going to get another power strip, route it from the back side of the television to that plug and run it behind our printer over here. So the biggest thing that we've overlooked is charging outlets. We'll still have wires and things all piled up over here just to support all our stuff. We have probably a lot more things to charge than most people. When we go out with the cameras, we come back and we have to charge up three different cameras from a GoPro to a Canon to our Sony's. Um, we have <laughs> just endless charging. So we've been, that's the biggest thing we noticed that was we overlooked. So the moral to this video is if you're preparing to be a boondocker, do not overlook the fact that you're going to need to charge things up constantly. It's 24-7, always charging something. And those things that need charged, I would highly recommend that you make sure you have a backup battery for each so you have time to get everything charged up for the next time you go out. So. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to talk about. Basically, <laughs> what we overlooked in boondocking. I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Buddy. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to subscribe, like our videos, and share them with everybody. Have a great day. Bye now.